This is a webcast produced by the Learning Enhancement Team based in the Dean of Students Office at the University of East Anglia. This webcast is part of the Steps into Numeracy series and concerns multiplying and dividing fractions. This guide introduces multiplication and division of fractions and gives examples of how to carry out these essential skills. Introduction Multiplying and dividing fractions involve very similar methods. To become confident performing these fundamental mathematical skills, you will need to be comfortable with the words used to describe fractions. See study guide, types of fractions, and be good at the skill of cancelling down a fraction. See study guide, cancelling down fractions. Multiplying fractions. Multiplying fractions is quite a straightforward skill to learn and master. In fact, it is easier than adding and or subtracting them. The method is to multiply all the numerators of the fractions in question together to give the numerator of the answer and to multiply all the denominators of the fractions in question together to find the denominator of the answer. For example, calculate a half multiplied by three quarters. To find the numerator of the answer, you must multiply the numerators in the question, one and three respectively. To find the denominator of the answer, you must multiply the denominators in the question, two and four respectively. You may find it beneficial to write the mathematics as follows. Let's start with the question. One half multiplied by three quarters. Next, do a step which expresses the fraction with a single dividing line. One multiplied by three divided by two multiplied by four. This middle step may not seem necessary here as the multiplications are quite straightforward. However, in more complicated questions, the middle step is useful for cancelling down and simplifying the problem. If you find multiplying numbers together difficult, you should read the study guides Multiplying Small Numbers and Multiplying Numbers. Returning to the question, 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 and 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, and so the answer is... 3 divided by 8, or 3 eighths. Sometimes the multiplications involved can be made easier by cancelling down the fractions first. This not only yields smaller numbers to multiply together, which is easier, but also produces the answer to the problem in its simplest form. Remember, when multiplying any fractions, always ask yourself at every step can I cancel down? For example, calculate 3 fifths multiplied by 5 twelfths. This example is a little more complicated, mainly because the numbers are larger. But as you will see, cancelling down will simplify the problem. Writing the fractions with a single dividing line can help you see that the fives can be cancelled down. Often, cancellations of this kind can be disguised by the fact that the number to be cancelled down appears in the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of another. By writing the fractions with a single dividing line, you can see that, in this case, the fives can be cancelled down. So, 3 fifths multiplied by 5 twelfths equals 3 multiplied by 5, which is the numerators, divided by 5 multiplied by 12, which is the denominators. And so you can cancel down the 5s. After cancelling down the 5s, you are left with 3 twelfths. 3 fifths multiplied by 5 twelfths equals 3 multiplied by 5 divided by 5 multiplied by 12. Cancelling down the 5s leaves 3 over 12 which can be simplified further. The denominator can be factorised as 12 equals 3 multiplied by 4. So, 
3 divided by 5 multiplied by 5 divided by 12 equals 3 over 12 after you've cancelled down the 5's this equals 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 you can now cancel down the 3's to give the answer of a quarter 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 5 divided by 12 equals 3 twelfths after cancelling down the 5's which equals 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 and cancelling down the 3's equals 1 quarter you may notice that even though the original question was about multiplying together two fractions getting the answer required no multiplication at all to multiply fractions 1 multiply the numerators and denominators 2 cancel down when you can example multiplying improper fractions calculate 5 multiplied by 4 sevenths here you need to recognize that this is another question about multiplying fractions the 5 can be re-expressed as an improper fraction as 5 equals 5 divided by 1 by doing this you should be able to see that this is a question about multiplying fractions so 5 multiplied by 4 sevenths equals 5 over 1 multiplied by 4 sevenths which equals 5 multiplied by 4 from the numerators divided by 1 multiplied by 7 from the denominators which equals 20 over 7 because there's no cancelling down a common mistake in these kinds of questions is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the whole number in this case the whole number is 5 and this would give 20 over 35 the wrong answer dividing fractions the reciprocal as you will see dividing fractions is closely related to multiplying fractions firstly you should know how to take the reciprocal of a number as this also plays a crucial part in the division of fractions to take the reciprocal of a number you first express it as a fraction if it is not a fraction already and then turn that fraction upside down so the numerator becomes the denominator and the denominator becomes the numerator for example what is the reciprocal of 2? as 2 can be written as an improper fraction as 2 over 1 the reciprocal of 2 is obtained by turning 2 over 1 upside down to give 1 half you should also see that the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 when you are dividing two fractions taking the reciprocal of the second fraction not only turns that fraction upside down but also changes the division into multiplication you may remember this from school to divide fractions 1 take the reciprocal of the second fraction 2 multiply the resulting fractions together for example calculate 1 half divided by 3 quarters here 3 quarters is the second fraction and so you must take its reciprocal and then multiply instead of divide so after performing the reciprocal and cancelling down 1 half divided by 3 quarters equals 1 half multiplied by 4 thirds 4 thirds is the reciprocal of 3 quarters and we have changed the division to a multiplication this is now simply a multiplication which we learned in the first half of the study guide and so this equals 1 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 as 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 you can see that we now have a 2 on the numerator and denominator which can be cancelled down which equals 2 thirds calculations commonly have a fraction above and below the dividing line as a dividing line represents division 
you should think of the problem as the upper fraction divided by the lower fraction. By writing the problem in this way, you can use the method for dividing fractions detailed above. For example, what is 3 fifths divided by 1 seventh? The question can be thought of as 3 fifths divided by 1 seventh, which can be written as this. So, using the method outlined above, taking the reciprocal of the second fraction and multiplying the fractions together instead of dividing them, gives 3 fifths divided by 1 seventh equals 3 fifths multiplied by 7 over 1, as 7 over 1 is the reciprocal of a seventh, and we are now multiplying instead of dividing, this equals 21 divided by 5. Further guidance and information. If you have any further questions about numeracy, or would like to discuss any other aspects of mathematics, you can talk to your lecturer or personal advisor, or make an appointment to see a learning enhancement tutor in the Dean of Students office. You can telephone 01603 592761 email dos.help or visit our website at www.uea.ac.uk forward slash dos forward slash let There are further resources on many other aspects of numeracy, mathematics, statistics and science available from the Dean of Students Office and on its website. These include questions to practice, model solutions and webcasts illustrating essential skills. This guidance is one of a series on mathematics produced by the Dean of Students Office at the University of East Anglia.